What's good, y'all? Dr. Trehana. A lot of people want to create a better version of themselves in 2024. Either lose fat, get healthier, or challenge themselves to cut out something that they might have a little attachment to. Me personally, as your nutritionist, I want to cut out alcohol all 2024, or at least I'm going to challenge myself to try. So today, what we're going to cover is why alcohol can ultimately slow down your metabolism and what you can do to mediate this if you want the expedited results when it comes to your weight loss or fat loss journey. We already know that alcohol is a poison, right? And we've seen commercials that say that, hey, you gotta be 21 years old to drink alcohol. But now, some cultures actually allow people to drink alcohol earlier. So if you're in the Caribbean or if you're from a Spanish descent, especially in South America, a lot of people start drinking alcohol, believe it or not, at 13. What is the problem with alcohol in the first place? Alcohol contains ethanol. And the way your body breaks down ethanol, and not just your whole entire body, you already know if you are following me that only your liver can break down alcohol. And once your body breaks down this ethanol, it's gonna turn to acetaldehyde. And this is literally a poison. It's gonna start affecting your endocrine system as well. Let me explain. Your body wants to produce testosterone. Now, not only men produce testosterone, but you, if you're a woman, produce testosterone as well. Believe it or not, you actually got more testosterone in your body as a woman than estrogen. Men just got 10 times more testosterone than you. But at the end of the day, the most dominant hormone in your body as a woman is testosterone. Your ovaries just convert this testosterone into estrogen. But what happens is when you drink a lot of alcohol, it literally hinders your body from producing testosterone. Why that can be a problem for you? As a woman, not only testosterone helps you with mental clarity, believe it or not, it helps you with your mental clarity, and of course we all know that testosterone helps you with libido, but it also helps you produce muscle, and it also help you keep your bone density. You're getting a little bit older, you start to get a little bit more frail. So you need your bones to be not only strong, but also to be dense. It's going to help you repair and lose fat. Ironically, a lot of women wants to do what? They want to lose fat. They're not really trying to lose weight. They're not trying to get skinny. They just want to look toned. They want to look good. But the more testosterone a woman has, especially if you're not dealing with PCOS or any other endocrine systematic problems, the more testosterone you have, the better you're going to look overall. Here's the problem with alcohol. Alcohol, main ingredient is ethanol. Ethanol basically breaks down into your liver to acetaldehyde. And this actually starts to affect the late egg cells and men decrease your testosterone. Think about the times on average we drink alcohol. God forbid, <laughs> nobody drinking alcohol at 8 o'clock in the morning. And sometimes people not usually drinking alcohol at 12 p.m. They're drinking it later during the day. When you're drinking alcohol later during the day, it starts to affect your sleep. And if it starts to impair your sleep, it's gonna stop your body from producing a hormone called human growth hormone. The whole purpose of human growth hormone is to rejuvenate you and it actually has some properties to help you lose fat. If you are hindering the hormone that's gonna help your body lose fat, then guess what? You're gonna be more susceptible to gain fat. It's really that simple. Have you ever noticed that the days that you go out for drinks, especially later during the day, you wake up earlier in the night. You probably wake up at like two o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning and you just up for like an hour. What just happened is your body pumps out the most human growth hormone in the first four hours of your sleep. But then it also has some acute pulses throughout the night. If you're only getting that one good pulse earlier during your sleep cycle, but you lost the other pulses throughout the night, that means the person who is getting eight hours of sleep should technically be leaner than somebody who's only getting four hours of sleep because their body's producing more human growth hormones and the endocrine system is a little bit more regulated. Not only your body's producing more human growth hormone, your body wants to produce the most amount of testosterone around the same time it pumps out human growth hormone. People who get the worst sleep also have low testosterone levels because your body wants to produce as much testosterone during eight hours of rest as well. If you want to grow and you want to build your body and have the best physique possible, it's in your best interest to sleep eight and sometimes nine to 10 hours a day. But the average person cannot sleep eight to 10 hours a day, but a bodybuilder's job is literally their physique. So they're able to do that. They're able to prioritize that. If you're a working class citizen like me and you, we can only max get eight hours of sleep. And sometimes the average person can only get six. It's in your best interest to get as much 
sleep as possible. But if you're taking in a drug that's gonna hinder your sleep, then you're not gonna have the best physique. At the end of the day, when it comes to life, it's all about opportunity costs, you know? So am I telling you to cut out alcohol cold turkey? No, but the less, the better, especially if your goal is to look the best possible. So I challenge myself to cut out alcohol because one thing I notice when I drink, I'm not really craving the drink. I'm just doing it because everybody else around me is doing it, you know? We are tribal naturally as humans and we just want to do what everybody else is doing. Monkey see, monkey do. So if everybody else is doing the macarena in the corner, I want to do the macarena naturally because I don't want to feel left out. I don't need to do the macarena, you know? I don't crave to do the macarena. I just want to do it because I see other people doing it. So I'm noticing the same thing applies with alcohol and you're not getting any health benefits from alcohol. You're not getting any health benefits from drinking a glass of wine a day. Oh, because Reservatrol is gonna help you lower heart disease. But they never tell you that in order for you to get any significant amount of Reservatrol, you need to drink at least 500 glasses of wine in one sitting. Nobody's ever doing that. So yeah, your little bottle of wine that you probably drink every single weekend, that's not giving you no health benefits. You're just getting more liver fat, which is gonna turn into stomach fat and more fupa fat. Hopefully you understand the importance of sleep and how alcohol can affect your sleep, which can ultimately affect your human growth hormone production and testosterone production. And hopefully you now know women. And if you want to have the most toned body possible, it's in your best interest to keep your testosterone levels high. And the only way you can do that is if you prioritize your sleep, which means what? Let's drink it. Hopefully y'all learned something today. That's your reset tip of the day. It's gonna be say snatch all the time. No, the summertime. Instead of you drinking every single day throughout the weekend, just make it one day. Instead of you drinking four margaritas, just try two. Just see how you feel. And then once you see that you're getting better quality sleep and notice how you're looking leaner in the mirror, you're gonna be good to go. And hopefully that motivates you. Cool, talk to you soon.